A very warm welcome to all of you. Let's have a start with the chapter. One geography. Class six, chapter number one, Earth in the solar system. In this chapter, regarding the stars, different phases of the moon, celestial bodies, constellations, pole star, were completed by us. And today we will start. the solar system the solar system the different parts of the solar system the asteroids meteors planets etc so the sun all eight planets satellites and some other celestial bodies are together consist of solar system and sun is the head of this family means sun is the head of the solar system as all the planets are moving on their orbit around the sun so first of all we read we will read about sun 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 is appearing just like a ball of fire as it is the source of heat and energy that is why it is appearing like a fire ball sun is very hot as it is made up of with the extremely hot gases and these gases are helium and hydrogen the sun is about 150 million km away from the earth and this is the exact position and the good position as it is neither very far nor very near okay that is why life is possible on earth due to the exact distance from the sun now planets there are eight planets these are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so all these we can learn with a logical term and this is my very efficient mother just servers nuts and each and every word of this sentence is very helpful to determine the exact position of the planet means we will choose only the first letter of each and every word to determine the exact position of each and every planet and with the red color these are already highlighted here in the solar system each and every planet is having their path on which they are moving around the sun so it is an imaginary path actually these lines are not there in the solar system so the imaginary path of the planets around the sun on which they are moving or taking the round around the sun is known as their orbit okay so jo ye blue line hai that is representing the orbit of the planets so the imaginary path of each and every planet on which they are taking round around the sun is known as the orbit of that planet in this solar system's family mercury is the nearest planet near to the sun it is and venus is considered as the twin of the earth as mercury is nearest to the sun that is why it is completing its revolution only within 88 days except all these eight planets some other small planets are there and that small planets are known as the dwarf planet now after 2006 pluto was also considered as a dwarf planet now earth earth the planet on which life is existing on which we are living earth is broad in shape it means it is broader from the middle and narrow at the poles and earth shape is the going in shape on the earth all the favorable condition are there which are supporting the life earth is neither too hot like mercury and not too very cold like neptune then all the possibilities of life are there here water is there and the air is there land on which we are living so each and every condition is there due to which life can be survived it is exactly in, at a 
good position at a right position from the sun also so that it can support the life means all the conditions regarding the earth in the solar system are supporting the life from the outer surface or the outer space means whenever we will go to the space then earth appears blue in color because two thirds surface of the earth is covered with water that is why it is also known as the blue planet and here is a interesting fact that light travels at the speed of about 300 or according to the indian measurement it is 3 lakh kilometer per second and that is why the rays of the sun are reaching towards the land of the earth the surface of the earth in near about 8 minutes now the next one is moon moon is a natural satellite of the earth it is a shiny object that appears during the night time it shine very brightly during the night time and it is because it is reflecting the light of the sun it shines because because it reflect light from the sun and it is the natural satellite of the earth and it is near about 3 lakh 84400 km away from the earth and it moves around the earth in about 27 days and it take exactly the same time to complete one spin also theek hai jo rotation hota hai so 27 days in rotation and 27 days in revolution that is why only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth on the moon life is not possible as it is not having any favorable condition to live then on the moon some deep holes are there the craters big craters are there the deep holes are there and due to that only some dark patches are reflecting on the full moon too these are the shadows of the craters in the craters means darkness is there and that darkness is appearing during the night time as the dark patches the next one asteroids asteroids are the other small or the tiny bodies which are moving around the sun these are known as asteroids or these are the small rocky bodies that were left over after the formation of the planets 4.5 billion years ago jo pehle planets ki formation humne padha tha big bang theory se hua tha uh, with the great explosion so these are maybe these uh, asteroids are the left over of all that planets then they often move as a minor planets around the sun these asteroids are moving or revolving around the sun in a exact path that is between mars and jupiter's orbit so the area between mars and jupiter's orbit is also known as the asteroid belt the next one is meteorites meteorites to whom we are also uh, aware or uh, calling as the shooting stars so these appear in the night sky and sometime when a particle or a chunk of rocky matter enters in the earth's atmosphere then due to friction of the atmosphere they start burning and these are known as the meteoroids that time and sometime a meteorite without being completely burned fall on the earth why they are burning kaise burn hote hain as i told you when they enter in the earth's atmosphere then due to friction they start burning and then only these are appearing like the shooting stars so jisko hum tootta tara bhi bolte hain okay so these are the shooting stars and sometime when they didn't burn completely in the earth's atmosphere due to friction then they fall on the earth and sometime they create some deep holes big holes of the craters the largest meteorite ever found on earth fallen in nimbia africa 
and its weight was near about 100 tons. According to the abundant geological events, an asteroid regularly 10 km across hits Earth about 65 million years ago and the impact of that meteor was the huge explosion and a creek about 180 km roughly across. So, it was a deep hole bana tha and near about 180 km area was destroyed yeah. and the land became hollow over there means a deep hole was or the crater was being formed. Sometime in the dark night sky some white images used to form or we find. So these white images on in which the stars are shining is known as galaxy or galaxy is Akash Ganga galaxy in which our eight planets are there Milky Way galaxy that is known as also. So our eight planets are there asteroid meteorites or artificial satellites or natural satellites everything is there. So in the universe many galaxies are there. Universe a collection of many galaxies. In the diagram we can understand that the entire universe that is the entire universe everything is included in that. Then in the universe the universe again is divided into some galaxies and Milky Way galaxy is one of that. Then in Milky Way galaxy solar system is there and in solar system our earth is there and on earth we are living. So we are the part of the universe we are not the whole universe whole universe is too large there is a lot of things to discover in that so the first chapter is completed now and after that we will start the history work history chapter up to here if any confusion is there you may discuss that in the class okay till then thank you